that tone, it's a real money in the room. Where are you originally from? Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay, BR. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how was it for you growing up in BR? Uh, it was crazy. It was like, it was like I seen a lot as a young kid. It was like, like the good, the bad, the kid ain't, a, ain't supposed to see, you know, but it was always a level of respect for so long. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it was just always like family-wise love too. It wouldn't, when you ask me how was it for me? You asking like, was it like difficult? Like, well, just just describe Baton Rouge. Like, so me personally, I've been to Baton Rouge once, but I ain't really go through the crevices crif and cracks of BR. You know what I'm saying? Baton Rouge, it didn't change a lot since when I was younger. Yeah. Like, and it's probably because my generation, like my generation, more wild, yeah. like youngsters, and when I was younger. I, I, I wanted to go to school, kind of like who, like not all the time, but like I want, like when I went to school, I learned. You know, I felt like I had a purpose. Mm -hmm. Kids these days, they don't give a f about school. They just, you know, and it, it kind of been like that, but it's like worse now. And it's like more hate and jealousy. Mm -hmm. Like when, when I was growing up, my dad had four, five, six cars back to back in a row. We go through the hood. We, everybody, ah. You know, you can't do that shit these days. Because, you know, too many people hate, too many people feel like you, are, you know, you can be a target or, you know. But, um. Mm. So, when, when you were growing up, Boosie was doing his thing already in Baton Rouge. Yeah, when I, when I was like, when I turned about, Seven, eight. About seven, eight. When about seven, eight, when he first, when he bought his first big house in Baton Rouge, that's when he started getting you know, a little bigger. Right. Yeah, around that time. So b before, I don't know if you can remember this far back either, but how did your life change from that time and prior to that? You talking about before, like seven and eight? Yeah. Um. For a minute, we stayed with my grandmother in Gordia. Um, We always stayed with my grandmother, Connie, my, my daddy, mama. Um, and I'm, that's crazy, because, like, I will always go back and stay at my grandmother's house before, like, anybody. Yeah. And I think that's because since I was younger, that was always, like, my first home type shit. Right. And, um... Then we moved to like two apartments, Highland Plantation. Um, and it was just like, his daddy got bigger. He had more and more kids. I can say that. That was a big change. Cause I started having siblings and my siblings is really like my whole. Hold on, are you the oldest? Yeah, I'm the oldest. Oh, you the oldest? Yeah, I'm okay, the oldest. That, so different. it was like, once I started having siblings, right. it brought a, like a whole different love for me and daddy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because like he had siblings out, he was with my mama, but had siblings outside my mama. Mm -hmm. But like they always stayed together. Right. Like it's me, out. yeah. Right. It's no, no. It's me, then it's Ty, Tootie. But, all, but we all got different mamas. Right. Tori, then it's Ray Ray, we got the same mama. Then Lear got a different mama. Then MJ got the same mama. Layla got a different mama. So it was like three, four kids with other women while being with my mama in the mix. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And it was like, I didn't care that it was with other women. It's, and, it, and it's bad because I, you know, like sometimes I see my mama like hurt or, you know, but I was so stuck on that I had a sibling. Mm. 
And that like, man, I would cry when they have to go home. That's why I feel it. So you you really love your siblings? Yeah. What so like I feel like the love we have for each other keep our love with daddy safe. Like like say of you know, everybody have problems with their family. So like, if, say if I ain't talking to daddy for a little while, right. you know what I'm saying? But I know Tootie there, so, you know, I'm, I'll am call Tootie, you know, hit him up. And daddy probably think I ain't checking on him, but I'm asking Tootie, like, pop straight. Like, what's up with pops? What he been doing, you know? So it was like, I think him having a lot of kids was like probably one of the biggest blessings he could have gave me. So, next question. You, you know, it, it's interesting you say that because like a lot of black men just don't be present in their kids' lives. You know right. what I'm saying? And when we look at him, it's like, it's this hood that's involved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's what I, that's why I think him having us always kept us together as a family. Right. Because like, even when he was in jail, it's like he never gave up on us. How old were you when you went to jail? Oh, uh, I was nine. You was nine. Okay, so seven, Big houses, cars, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like the, the siblings come in, you know, yeah. it's just like things are, are are starting to, you know, get better. Was there jealousy from the people around in Belen Rouge? Yeah, I mean, it's always going to be haters. Right. But that are the biggest of the biggest. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Like the biggest of the biggest in the city. So it was like, you know, you know they know not to f with nothing. Or the, you know how they, or how it's gonna go if they do. Hey, real tone, it's some real money in the room. 